Hey everybody, it's Pastor Scott and this is Real Talk. This is our weekly video checking series where we talk to you about what's going on inside the walls of the church as well as our community. And today I'm coming to you from room 109. This is a beautifully decorated or redecorated space that's been repainted. Um, I want to thank the members of our trustees as well as the Morning Glory Circle who has done a lot of amazing work but has done a great job of just making this room feel very warm. If you're interested in having a meeting, what a great space. Um, to come and, and just uh, enjoy the, the beautiful colors of this room. And it's just, uh, you know, it, it's a great place to be. So today we're going to take a little bit of a break from our, uh, our life groups that we have been sharing about the last few weeks. We've been talking to some of our life groups about uh, what they're about and how they're connected. And then we'll, we'll also be um, redoing that again next week. But we had some breaking news this week, and I want to share some of this with you because I think it's really important um, for you to, to know uh, about this. So many of you may remember, before I decided to get into licensed ministry and become a full-time pastor and dedicate my life to ministry, I was in something called the Lay Servant Ministry Program. I was a lay, uh, certified lay servant and certified lay speaker. What that meant for me is that I had an interest in putting my foot in the water and you know getting involved in in some ministry aspects, including being able to guest preach at different churches. And on Sunday nights, my mother-in-law and I would have our date night. I would pick her up, and then we would go to Lincolnia Senior Residence, where we would do a worship service. She would be my piano player. Um, and it was just something we did every Sunday night. I miss those times. And unfortunately, my mother-in-law's health is declining and just uh, unfortunate that we won't be able to do that anymore. But it was a really special time for us to be able to do that together. So I share this because after the pandemic, it's been a while since classes have been available. And so they started um, sprinkling different things out for lay ministry training programs and lay ministry academy um, and lay servant academy. So they are um, having some classes in different parts of the state, but I am excited to share this with you because when I went through this program, I had to go to Richmond, I had to go to Fredericksburg, I had to go to Winchester. There was a lot of different places that had classes. Very few were, were held close to here. So, but I am here to tell you that and I'm really excited about this is that the Lay Servant Academy is bringing classes to Northern Virginia on Friday, April 14th and Saturday, April 15th. So it's three hours on Friday night and then you come back Saturday morning, you get to sleep in your own bed. It's great, but wait, there's more. This is what's really exciting. We're hosting it here at Hernan. They decided that they could, they could have five classes here because of this beautiful space that we have. Um, most places they only have three, maybe four if they're lucky. We're having five. And so... It is a great opportunity for you to, if nothing else, take some great uh, laity-based focused servant classes that that really look to find ways to increase everybody's uh, development, understanding, involvement, and in, in how laity can be part of the ministry of the church and how it is a big and important piece um, that sometimes I think we take for granted. So I want to... Um, I want to first invite you all to take a look at this. This is um, we're going to have some information in our newsletter coming up, as well as on our website. You can also go to uh, novaumc.org, and you can find on this is on the district site the lay servant uh, classes and the schedule. I want to go through some of this with you, though. The five classes that are offered, um, we have the Lay Servant Ministries Basic Course. We have Lay Servants Lead in Conflict Resolution. We don't have conflict in church, right? Oh, wait. Um, there's devotional life in the Wesleyan tradition. So if you're interested in getting more uh, involved in your Wesleyan tradition, um, teaching biblical faith, you know, how to lead small group Bible studies, that's a, a great class to learn from. And then there's one about loving people and planet and how um, we talk about our environment and how important it is. Here's what's really cool. Let me tell you about some of the people involved in this. Friday night, the um, the guest preacher for that uh, Friday night service that talks about the importance of the role of leading the church is none other than our own Pastor Jonathan. Jonathan is going to be leading that service and is going to be preaching to everybody that's there. It is such an amazing um, opportunity for us to be able to to highlight Herndon as well. And so we'll have music and there'll be um, dinner served that first night. And then you go into classes for a few hours. Um, some of the teachers, I am so excited about this. First of all, the conference lay leader, not just the lay leader for 
for here or for the district or for the Northern Virginia area. No, no, no. The conference lead leader, Martha Stokes, is leading the basic course. To get the conference lead leader to come here to Herndon to teach a class is just amazing. So remember, we have a bishop and we have a lay leader, and you know they are representing the clergy and they're representing the laity for the annual conference. Martha Stokes is the highest ranked lay member in the annual conference for Virginia. What a great chance to come and learn from her and rub elbows with her um, and find ways that you can get more connected into the laity leadership. It's, oh, I, the fact that we got her is just amazing. And I think it gets better for, at least I think it gets better because we have an amazing district superintendent in Sarah Calvert. Sarah Calvert is coming to lead a class. She's going to teach the class on lay servants lead in conflict resolution. And this is such an important piece in the world today. We have so much conflict that, that happens. And to have somebody like RDS, Sarah Calvert, coming here to teach, oh, it's amazing. And um, on Saturday afternoon, after all the classes are done, um, she will be presiding and leading over the worship service along with Martha Stokes. Um, I will also be teaching a class. I'm excited about this because, um, again, I have a passion for lay servant ministries. And so myself and Eric Kleppinger, Eric is a good friend. We were lay servants together, and we both decided to go into ministry together. So we're teaching this class together called Devotional Life in the Wesleyan Tradition. It kind of helps people understand um, what the Wesleyan Tradition is and how we might be able to get more focused in our day-to-day -day, uh, walk in our faith. There's also the, the teaching biblical faith uh, leading small group Bible studies is led by Mary Ann Crawl. She has 30 years of teaching Bible studies, and so and, and especially things like that disciple Bible study. So she'll be fantastic. And then uh, Karen Macklefish, who is the district lay leader for the Northern Virginia. So we have the conference lay leader for Virginia, and we have the district lay leader for Northern Virginia, as well as the district superintendent, all coming to teach classes. It is going to be amazing. We don't get this opportunity very often. So if you are at all interested or thinking about maybe there's a class or two that you're interested in taking, I know there's a couple of, of people in our community that have gone through some of these lay servant classes before. There are a couple right now that are going through the process. If you get through all six, you become a certified lay servant, and then you can decide what you want to do with it. You don't have to do anything with it. It could just be, I want to take some classes that sound really cool from really cool instructors. So I hope that you'll consider doing this. Friday, April 14th, Saturday, April 15th, here at Herndon United Methodist Church. Um, great worship, great opportunities, be able to connect with people from not only all over Northern Virginia, but here in all of Virginia. There will be people coming from all over because these classes are, are really important and people want to try to get this um, certification done. Um, so they will be coming from all over. Great place to, to also get connected with Martha Stokes, be able to say hi and have a conversation with Sarah Calvert, uh, with Karen McElfish. Um, and again, Pastor Jonathan and I will be part of this weekend as well. So I hope that you'll consider coming. Again, novaumc.org. You can register there. There'll be more information coming on our website as well as in the newsletters. Um, but if you can't tell, I'm really excited about this. And I hope that some of you will really consider taking advantage of this. This is an amazing opportunity. We don't get to do this in Northern Virginia very often. And the fact that we're coming here to Herndon is awesome. So anyway, I hope you all have a great week. Today's Ash Wednesday. I hope you're coming to the services tonight. Um, but I also hope that you have a safe week and I look forward to seeing you soon. You are loved.